channel today is going to be super motivating. It is part two of my whole house decluttering series. Today we are focusing on my kitchen. Um, we're gonna be tackling the hutch on top of my fridge, all of this inside the cabinets, just everything. I want a clean slate so when I need to do the spring cleaning portion of it, I can just come in and do it and I'll have to worry about um, decluttering. And sorry, my dog is really loud. He's got clickety clackety toenails. I can't help it. Rip, can you, can you sit down for just a moment, love? Pop up here. Anyway, so I've got to get some stuff put away because if you know me, it's always just, it's a cycle of there's just crap everywhere and I gotta put it away before I can even do the basic declutter and purge. But hopefully, you know, getting rid of a lot of stuff will help me in the future to not have to do that. And my husband actually wants to move the hutch out of here, but I'm just, the thought of it breaks my heart. I don't want to move the hutch, so I don't think I'm going to do that. Y'all let me know um, if you think I should move the hutch out of here. He, he says it's too small in here for it, but I just think it adds the charm that I want and just the coziness, the little vibe that I'm going for. Anyway, um, I'm going to clean off the countertops first. I feel like that really helps my brain to focus on the um, decluttering portion of the video so as well as the table I gotta clean up the table too okay I'm getting confusing so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started but I'm so glad that you're here and if you're new hi welcome my name is Jesse and on my channel I like to post homemaking motivation um, whether that's cleaning shopping hauls um, day in the life kind of things and purging and decluttering and organizing all the fun stuff so if you enjoy it I would love if you would click that subscribe button and join my little YouTube family and let me know in the comments below if you're new so I can come say hey to you. So without further ado, I'm going to quit the jibber jabber and I'm going to start the video. Okay. So the first place I need to go through and organize declutter is this hot mess. Just all kinds of games and art supplies. That's all the DVDs. I'm not gonna touch that. And some random stuff down there. And some board games. So I'm gonna basically go through these three drawers because this one is just 
um, like extra table linens, garden gloves, and napkins. So that one's, that one's fine. We're gonna tackle these three today. And I lost my light. I don't know where it went. Um, so I'm sorry that it's kind of dark. Just being completely honest with you guys, um, I really, really did not want to do this. Like I had to get up and convince myself today's the day I'm going to do this hutch because I have just been procrastinating it because do you see all this stuff in here? It's very overwhelming. So this is the perfect opportunity for you to get up and declutter something alongside me. I'll be your buddy. We can be declutter buddies and get the thing done. When I have huge piles of randomness like this to go through, I like to break it up into categories. First, I like to get the trash out and then I like to put like items together and that just helps my brain out to not get so overwhelmed with it because piles, they are my nemesis and yet I continue to make them. I am on a minimal-ish journey, um, and I know that looks different for everyone, but I was just curious. I found out I have three hot glue guns. I believe one is a mini, and the other two are regular size. Do I need three hot glue guns? Uh, should I just keep two? Uh, let me know in the comments what you think because I truly have no idea. And that is my youngest son right there. He had been requesting some ramen noodles. He's been sick with a stomach bug for a couple of days and he finally was gonna eat. So I made him the noodles and he was in there to tell me that he was grateful, but they were gross and he didn't wanna eat them. So mom life. But I'm just grateful that he's feeling better because he was feeling pretty poorly the past a couple of days. So if y'all have that stomach bug out there, I'm praying for you because it's rough. Something that I have a really hard time letting go of is little learning books like that alphabet book you just saw me messing with. It's actually from Dollar Tree back when it was only a dollar and I just can't part with it so I kept it. But all of this ribbon um, that's tangled up in the hot glue guns, I was ready to toss the whole knot knotted thing out the window. It was very annoying. Uh, which is another reason I'm glad I'm decluttering all this because I can make it all nice and neat but I'm not gonna keep the ribbon in here because it's just a headache. I have trouble getting rid of crafty things. You'd think I'm a crafter. I, I think there's two separate hobbies. There is the person that buys all the craft supplies and does the crafts, and the crafts are the hobby. And there's the person who finds a new obsession, buys all the things for it, kind of starts a craft, and then forgets about it and stuffs it away in a drawer. I am the latter in that combo. Which one are you? Fun fact about me, I am terrified of spiders, so this gave me um, a little bit of a fright and my heart was pounding out of my chest. It's just a little ring. I hate it. It's going in the garbage. I may not be the excellent crafter that I wish I was, but my children definitely are. They love doing all kinds of arts and crafts, whether it's painting, uh, gluing stuff to paper, you know, making amusement parks out of construction paper, um, drawing, sketching, all the fun stuff. So I'm really hoping by decluttering and organizing the space, we make more time for that, which I've heard and I really liked learning about minimalism. It's not about having a certain number of things. It's about having enough of something that you can enjoy it, but not too much that you can't um, handle it. So you can make room and time for the things that you and your family love and enjoy. So that is what I'm trying to provide for my family. 
I hope that made sense. It kind of sounded like nonsense for a second there, but hopefully that encourages you if you are overwhelmed in your home to um, just tackle one small space today to make it better for you and your family. I am recording this voiceover at 11 o'clock in the morning, um, the day of the great American solar eclipse. And we live in the path of totality and we might even get to see um, the phenomenon called the double diamond. Uh, I'm a little nervous to look at it honestly because I don't want to mess up my vision and I've seen several ophthalmologists talk about how it can damage your eyes. So I'm probably just going to look at a reflection of it. I remember the one in 2017. It was really cool because you stand outside and the crickets started chirping and it got really eerily dark. It was awesome. But let me know if you got to see the eclipse, um, where you're at, if you got to see the, if you were in the path of totality or whatever. I think they said our city was 99% totality, so that's pretty awesome. So yeah, just uh, let me know if you got to see it. Um, in this drawer, apparently the bag of beans spilled that I had set up for my son's little sensory activities. And I decided to keep them, but I had to gather them all up first. And if they don't play with them very much, I'm gonna get rid of them. This uh, Trivial Pursuit game was all kinds of scattered around in a hot mess, so I decided to get it all put back together. And as I did, I discovered there are several missing pieces, but that's okay because when I opened the bottom drawer, guess what? There was a whole unopened game. Now I need to tackle this pile of stuff. It's been here for months and I just haven't been in the headspace to tackle it, but I'm gonna get it today. It's just a whole bunch of random stuff and I'm thinking maybe I can use that gray and white bin to store all of my Easter decor right here. So, kill two birds with one stone. I apologize for the weird angle right here. I didn't know that I had um, not turned the camera when I started filming this portion of the video, but inside these bins is just some random home decor. And that right there is our grateful basket. I started where I cut out a bunch of little paper hearts and I wanted the kids and my husband and myself to just write down something we were grateful for and put it in that basket. So if we're having a bad day, we can go in, pull a little paper heart out of the basket and just remember how blessed we really are. I bought this basket at Goodwill years ago. I think I paid a dollar for it and I'm obsessed with it. It has become our little homework station at the table. And I cannot encourage you guys to do this enough if you have kids. Um, it's great to have just a little thing set up so when they have homework, you've got the pencils, the colored pencils, markers, glue sticks, and I've even got some candy in ours because my kids love suckers. You can motivate them to do anything with a sucker. Anyway, so I'm just going through and getting all the broken pieces out and organizing it back like I had it because it is just 
hot mess express going on and i'm putting some extra colored pencils in this red basket that's going to be um i'm going to put it on top of the hutch for when we need some more i got backups It's the end of the weekend, but I still wanna turn up. Yeah, I still wanna turn up. All I want is to go again, but you ain't picking your phone up. Why are you messing my head up? Any night, any day, let me take you away. All I need is just saying yeah, 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 yeah. Better nights, better days. When you're here with me, babe, cause you're all that I crave, so I wonder. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Don't hide away from me when I need you most. We got love guaranteed, and I have to know, say. Just pick up your phone, tell me where you'll be, cause I gotta know. Let me know when you're ready, cause I made reservations. Too many. The next space I'm going to tackle is underneath the kitchen sink, and it looks pretty bad, but it's really not that bad because I actually purged it a few months ago, and I've got a video where I did that. Um, but I just need to take everything out, go through it again, and trash. There's probably empty product bottles in here if I know my husband. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm just gonna do that really quick and then put everything back in. Oh, I do have advice. I saw on TikTok, a woman was talking about you should um, only keep the stuff under your sink that you're actually gonna use. So I actually find a lot of things that I don't use on the daily basis that I put in another container in the laundry room so that it's not cluttering up under the sink and it's not so overwhelming. It's still not aesthetically pleasing in my opinion, like from my taste, but until I can afford to get nicer um, organizing pieces, Dollar Tree is gonna have to do. Somehow one of the mouse glue traps got inside my cleaning caddy and was stuck to the bottom of my barkeeper's friend. So that was actually quite hard to rip off. So I know those glue traps they really are awesome. They catch the most mice for us more than even um, snappy mouse traps. Because as you can tell, um, we're a farmhouse. We live out in the country. You're gonna have mice, so I have to I have to go in here often and make sure that we don't have any little visitors. And apparently, evidenced by the mouse poop, which ew, I'm so sorry, um, we have the mice again. To reach, just pick up your phone. Tell me where you'll be, cause I gotta know. If you think my vacuum looks kind of funny, um, it's because I've got this awesome vacuum from Pretty Care and I can't find the attachment for the handheld, so I'm just having to use it uh, without that attachment. It looks kind of funny, it works though. I wouldn't recommend it, but it does, it does the job. I'm thinking I want to get some of that shelf liner from the store and put down here just to make it a little, little extra pretty. What do y'all think?
I decided it was kind of silly to have two plastic containers full of plastic bags, so I took them all out of one and condensed them into the single and then I decided to put the dishwasher tabs in the other one and then I have an empty smaller container for whatever we need. I would put those little, um, those are like you put them in the dish itself and it cleans it. They're not dishwasher pods but I would confuse myself. Now we're going to go into this corner cabinet which is just a hodgepodge of everything. My son unloads the dishwasher and just throws things in here and I know I've got some expired cereal to throw away so I'm going to tackle that now. Friends are nearby, don't need another view. Time is not on my mind, but then it's you. Oh, I love it when the love comes around and then I remember all things must pass. But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up. I'm not ready, let me have another day. Don't wake up, wake up. Keep it steady, cause I'm happy. I'm not gonna wake up. No, no, no. must pass but i'm not gonna wake up wake up i'm not ready let me have another day don't wake up wake up keep it steady cause i'm happy i'm not gonna wake up no no not yet whoa no not yet whoa no no not yet whoa but i'm not gonna wake I'm not, I'm not gonna wait Y'all, I did not tell my husband what I was doing. So he walked in the kitchen to be surrounded by all of this stuff in the floor. I'm sure he thought I was insane. Like, he put he he puts up with a lot being married to me. But uh, another tip is get your family involved in the decluttering process and organizing. Because sometimes they remember where stuff goes when you don't.
I got all the, I got the toaster here, all the cereals here, my extra containers, the griddle and the pancake, little waffle maker, and behind here is the basket of cookie cutters, and this is the air fryer, and then the instant pot's back there because I hardly ever use it. That's all that's going in here, and I'm hoping it stays this way.
This drawer was crammed full with all kinds of food storage kind of things, um, tape, and then some trash. So I decided to just strictly make it the Ziploc bag, you know, oven bag, aluminum foil, parchment paper, that kind of thing in this drawer and nothing else. And I'm going to rehome the tape into the hutch. show you this cabinet is fine it's like where my mixing bowls are my pie plates and my baking dishes up here is like the flour syrup vegetable oil cooking spray um, this one is where the spices are with the rice more spices and a bunch of beans this is the medicine cabinet it's the baking cabinet I did this one this is just my dish towels this is fine. It's the food containers. And then cups and bowls are fine. And the pantry is good. But I have to clean up the countertop again, which I won't do for this video because you've already watched me clean it off once. But anyway, now I just need to do the top of the fridge and I will be done with organizing my kitchen. Okay, so to recap, this is the hutch, and this is the um, colored pencils with all the sketch pads and blank paper, and then this side has a box of, I think some more colored pencils and some special Crayola markers with like coloring books and learning little books, as well as my son's scratch art. This drawer has become my little office. I've got a tape dispenser, some some more of this packing tape. What is this called? I don't remember what that is. Clear tape. And then a little pencil pouch. My um, bill organizer. My bill calendar. And some thank you cards. Envelopes. Like a little stationary station. And this drawer is going to be... I put all of the paints and everything for that in here. The sensory activity and then the hot glue guns, a ruler, and some twine because if I'm going to use hot glue, it's probably for twine. So I thought that would go good together. And that's the organization of the hutch. I love it and I hope it stays. I did end up putting this cute little sign on top of the fridge, but other than that, it is clear and I love it. This is the pot holders and my favorite knives, ice cream scoop and can opener. That's it. This is the Ziploc bags, aluminum foil, parchment paper, drawer, and this cabinet. Love how this turned out. I did add this pot over here, but that's okay because I rarely use it. So it'll just be like a bookend for all the cereal. So yeah, that is the kitchen. That is going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed watching me get my kitchen all organized and decluttered. So now I can come in and give it a good clean because the cabinets could use some love and a good spring cleaning because it's April. It's almost summer and I haven't done my spring cleaning yet. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video tomorrow. Be sure and let me know in the comments if you have any prayer requests so that I can pray for you and y'all have a 
wonderful, fantabulous day. Until then, be grateful, give grace, and